What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to identify congruent arcs, right? So for arcs to be congruent, they need two things. They have to have the same radius and the same angle. Okay, and a little more specifically, the same central angle. Okay, so we're gonna go over several examples and all we're gonna check is if the red arcs are congruent, all right? So let's start with this first example right here. So as you can see, we have these two red arcs. They're both 80 degrees and they also have the same radius. And we know that because, right, this distance is the exact same as this distance. And we know that because both of these arcs are on the exact same circle. Okay, so since these two red arcs have the same radius and they have the same central angles, then we know that they are congruent to one another. So we could simply say that uh, this arc right here from C to D is congruent to this other arc from E to F. All right, here's the next one. So as you can see, we have uh, two different circles this time, right? So we have this big circle and then this smaller one inside of it. Okay, so again, we just have to check if they have the same radius and the same angle. So here we can see that they do have the same angle, right? Both of these red arcs come from this right angle, right? This 90 degree angle. So they have the same angle, but they have different radii, right? So the radius for the small arc is just this distance right here, but the radius for the big arc would be from the center all the way to the outside over here, right? So obviously the radii are not the same. So that would mean that these two arcs are not congruent. So we could just write it as, uh, let's just list the small one first. So from M to O, M to O, uh, and the other one we'll say is L to P. So we're gonna say that these are not congruent. All right, here's the next example. So again, we just wanna check if these red arcs are congruent to one another. And this time we have two separate circles. Okay, but nothing has changed. We still just wanna check two things, that they have the same angle, central angle, and they do, right? They both are 95 degrees, and they have to have the same radius and here we can tell that they do right because as you can see there's this little congruent mark and this little congruent mark right so these little congruent marks tell us that these radiuses these radii are equal to one another okay so since we have the same angle and the same radius that means our two arcs st and wy are congruent to each other all right, here's the next one. So again, we just wanna to check to see if these two arcs are congruent to one another. So the first thing that stands out is you can see that the two arcs are on the same circle, right? So that means these two arcs have the same radius, right? So the distance from the center to the edge, so this radius is gonna be the exact same distance from the center to this edge. Okay, so they have the same radius. Now we just need to check if they have the same angle. So this one over here is 65 degrees, but what is this one? This one's missing, right? So the way that we can find it is, remember, all the angles inside of a circle have to add up to 360 degrees, right? So we could simply say, uh, we can add these three up, right? So we could say 40 plus 65 plus 180 plus this missing angle, which we'll just, let's just call it X for now, all right? So plus X has to be equal to 360, okay? Now, 40 plus 65, that's 105, and 105 plus 180 is 285. So we got 285 plus X has to be equal to 360. So here we could see that X must be equal to 75 degrees, right? So here X is 75 degrees. So as you can see, this angle and this angle are not the same. So since the two central angles are not the same, that means the two arcs are not congruent. All right, here's the last example that we're gonna cover. So again, we're just checking to see if these two red arcs are congruent to one another. So the first thing that stands out is that their angles are the same, right? This is 69 degrees and this is 69 degrees. Nice, right? So now we just need to check if the radii are the same. So here it tells us that this radius is eight, right? What's the radius of this guy? Well, it gives us the diameter right here as 14. So if the whole length is 14, 
What's half of 14? Well, that's just seven. So the radius over here would be seven, right? Seven on this side and seven on this side. Okay, so they have the same angle, but different radii. So these two arcs are not congruent. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.